Okay guys, I can't quite express in words how excited I am for this video. In fact, just to show you how excited I am for this video, I made a hat. So it is October, it is spooky season, I'm sure you're all well aware, and I've been seeing the Halloween posts creeping onto my Instagram feed and I am getting extremely jealous that I haven't delved into it yet. If you have seen my hair transformation video and you are looking at me right now, you will know I now have orange hair. So that kind of gave me a little bit of an indication about what to do. I was thinking about characters in films that have orange hair and if you have seen Alice in Wonderland, but the Johnny Depp version of Alice in Wonderland, he's obviously the Mad Hatter hence the hat and I thought that would be such a fun character to recreate so if you're excited for this video and you want to see how I do it please give it a massive thumbs up and keep watching okay so T minus two hours and a very badly failed attempt later we're back to where we started except a little bit more flustered Right guys, I know makeup is a process, but this is just unsalvageable. Look like Harley Quinn gone wrong. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Wow. I'm gonna try again guys and it is gonna be groundbreaking, but I just thought I should share that it doesn't always go well. Remember that. Failure is the best way to success. Does that make sense? I don't know, I just made it up. You know what I mean. Not ideal. I'm gonna try again, I'm gonna take a different approach. We'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna try my best to steer clear of the face paint for a base. The lightest thing I have that's actually makeup is this Boying Hydrating Concealer by Benefit. And if you saw my duty-free testing video, I'll put it somewhere. You'll know that this was not my favourite product in the world. I actually kind of hated it. But this is the lightest thing I have. It is in the shade number one, I believe. So it is literally the lightest shade, I think, unless they have like 0.5. I'm not sure. So I just kind of tried using the same beauty blender I used for the white face paint and then just kind of blending it out with the one that I just used to cover my face with the concealer and just blending it out. And it's actually working. It's definitely not as like white as if I was just kind of directly applying the face paint. I'm just popping it like that. And then just using the other beauty blender to blend it out. You have to work really, really fast though because if you're only applying a thin layer of paint, it dries so quickly. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 35D palette and I'm gonna get this kind of dark purpley shade and I'm gonna use that to contour. <sighs> I'm gonna do it really like as lightly as I can, keeping it nice and high. I don't know how well it's gonna blend into the paint actually. Apparently not very well. Okay, so I don't want the purple to be too obvious, so I'm just kind of dulling it down just with my powder brush. Then just with my Too Faced Cocoa Contour, which is what I normally use, I'm gonna go in with medium contour and then just try and make my cheekbones look extra chiseled. Just gonna go around the forehead as well, which is where I would normally contour and my jawline just gonna grab my clinique blush in precious posy which is just a nice ooh, almost dropped it sparkly pink and just dust that right on the apples of my cheeks so with this is the london copyright blush palette volume one i'm just gonna get this bright pink shade i'm actually gonna contour my nose with this so I'm gonna try and do it as lightly as I possibly can because obviously this is a hell of a lot more pigmented than your average contour shade. I'm gonna take it like 
all the way into my brow. And then just with a clean brush, I'm gonna blend that out. So I'm gonna dip into my Patricia Bright Revolution palette and I'm gonna get the shade Angel, which is basically just, and drop my brush, which is basically just bright white. And I'm just gonna highlight all the way up the center of my schnoz. And now we have probably the best nose contour I've ever done and it is bright pink, fab. So I'm just gonna take this shade here called Superpower from the same Patricia Bright Revolution palette. And I'm just gonna very lightly drag that under my right eye. And then I'm gonna take it on my lid on this side. I am gonna take it all the way up to my brow. I'm gonna make this quite an extravagant eye look. I'm not gonna, am I? I'm gonna wing it out ever so slightly. So not like all the way to the temple, but just kind of drag it out to like the tail of my brow. And I'm gonna connect it to my nose contour as well. Then I'm just gonna get this shade here called Pure Soul. And I'm just gonna pop that on the outer corner right here. And I just threw my palette in the bin. Wow. I'm just gonna cut my crease. I'm gonna cut it from slightly further in than my inner, actual inner corner. I think what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna drag it downwards to kind of like outline my nose contour just at the top. Okay, I think that looks quite cool. Then I'm just gonna get the same angel shade right here and just pop that right where I just put that concealer. I'm gonna do a similar thing to what I did in my first failed attempt, but I'm gonna try and do it so much neater because I think it will actually look really, really, really cool if I actually try. So I'm gonna concentrate really goddamn hard. <sighs> All right, so that went so much better than last time. So now what I'm gonna do on the other eyelid, I'm gonna get this shade here called Stay Hydrated. And I'm just gonna pop that all over the lid. It's getting worryingly dark and I'm slightly concerned for the lighting of the remainder of this video. I genuinely started filming about three hours ago. I wasn't expecting it to take this long. Just for my outer corner, I'm gonna go in with Date Night. Then I'm gonna try and attempt everything cut crease wise I did on this side on the other side. So wish me luck, I'm gonna need it. Okay, so my camera just cut out, which means I'm not sure how much of this you saw. You didn't miss much because I basically just missed up a load of times. But how cool does this look? I don't think I've ever done like white lashes before and it is an absolute vibe. So I didn't get a chance to test out brows on my last attempt. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just using the HD brow glue just to get them to stand up. All right, so once that's dry, I'm actually gonna go in with a lipstick. This could go terribly wrong. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills mini lipstick from the Holiday Lipstick Kit. I'm just gonna go in with a thin brush. Oh, is this gonna go really badly? And I'm gonna paint my eyebrows orange. Oh, it's working. I'm just gonna do just like a normal brow, like as if I'm just filling them in normally. But then towards the front, I'm just gonna make it quite massive, really. What I might do is go in with some concealer and just make like outline the hair strokes that I've just made to make them look super prominent. I 
actually really like that. I think that looks really cool. Right, I am actually just gonna do a very normal highlight. So I'm going in with my e.l.f. Single Moonlight Pearls Highlight. I think this is a little bit more champagne-y that I'm after at the moment. What can I use? Okay, so I really hope this doesn't ruin it, but I'm gonna try and go in with Verve from my Naked 2 palette, which is dirty. I'm so sorry you had to see that. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. I'm just gonna blend it with the contour shade. I'm just gonna highlight all the normal areas, so just the tip of my nose, Cupid's bow. So part of me actually wants to do my lips the same colour as my eyebrows. I think I am actually gonna do that. I'm gonna use the same Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick. And guys, I'm so excited for this last part because I feel like it's genuinely gonna be the icing on the cake. So I'm gonna go in with these lashes, these are the Tati Lashes TL6. They are just so intense, so dramatic. I genuinely think it's gonna look insane. So I'm gonna go off camera and complete this look. I'm not even gonna say anything, but guys, I'm really excited for this look to come together. I really like how the makeup finally turned out. So just give me a second to finish up. how this look eventually turned out. I've literally been filming for so long and I'm glad it was worth it because I had genuinely lost hope after the first try. It was just so dire and I was like, is this just too far-fetched? Because I have definitely lost my sparkle when it comes to like extravagant, crazy makeup. I have not done it in a very long time. I need to go back into it. But as it goes, I have actually really enjoyed well, not doing it because this was a horrible experience, but the finishing look I'm actually really, really pleased with. So I'm gonna take loads and loads of pictures right now, although I have lost all the natural light, which is just great. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video and you like the final look, then please give it a huge thumbs up and I will see you guys very, very soon for another video.